Unlock your potential today at skillbakery.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we will be taking the next step where we will be learning how to manage local state using Apollo by extending the GraphQL schema on the client. The first thing that you see over here is this in cart feature and you'll notice a special symbol at the rate client. So what we are doing over here is we are creating a client side attribute. So this product collection on the server has only three attributes, ID, name, and price. But on the client side, we are trying to incorporate one more attribute called in cart. And that is going to be for every user that will be adding the product to the cart. For that reason, we are specifying this at the rate client, which symbolizes that this specific attribute is not from the server it's only being maintained at the client side now based on this we will be conditionally rendering this button that you see down below over here it will either read remove from cart if the item is already part of the cart otherwise it will say add to cart what we're doing over here after including this in cart attribute is we have created this handle toggle in cart method now, over here, when you click on this button, the product will be passed as an augmented and based on that, it is going to perform certain actions. Now, this action is first of all going to check whether we have the in cart in our local storage or not. If it is present, then it's going to parse it and convert it and store it over here in the cart variable. And from there, it will find whether this particular product ID exists in that cart or not. If not, then it is going to add that in the local storage over here using the set item attribute after that we are also updating the apollo cache so for that we have the product id and the fields over here in cart is returning the true or false based on the new cart status now we have this client accessible over here because we are making use of this cause client equals use apollo client now use Apollo client is part of the Apollo client package. So here we have use Apollo client. Now once that's done, the use effect will basically trigger the change in the status. So here, as soon as we click on the handle toggle in cart, it will either return true or false. And based on that, we check what's the current status. If it's true, then we say remove from cart. If it's false, then we say add to cart. So here, if I now demo it to you, here we have our page and you can see the local storage over here. We have certain key points over here. Now, if I click on this add to cart, you'll notice that in cart gets added. And over here we have the product ID, which is set to true. And if I click on the next one again, we have the next product ID, which is again set to true. So both of these are now set to true. Now, if I reload this page, you'll notice that the changes are preserved. So even when the, the page is really loaded, we get this value and we get it from the local storage. And based on that, it says remove from cart. If I now go ahead and click on this remove from cart, you will notice that the in cart is now getting changed. So one is set to false and two is set to true. Again, if I click on remove from cart, this also gets set to false. And based on that, we are now getting the add to cart text instead of remove from cart. Clicking again will set it back to true. So that's what we have been doing over here. And we have learned how to introduce or incorporate a client side attribute in our GraphQL. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.